Welcome back to another video and it's been a while since I posted but today my girl woke up wanting some birria the baby the little baby wants birria this morning so we're gonna go to a place called Birreria Cholo we're going to one that's in Moreno Valley but they have a couple locations I think in Riverside and some other places and it's been a while since even I've eaten birria so I'm excited for this hasta me sorprendió give me girl wanting birria today because it's been a while since she craved birria so I'm excited y más porque ayer me eché unas chelitas so I got a little bit of a hangover we woke up and I'm a little disappointed because yesterday we were going to watch Hocus Pocus and we only saw it halfway because my girl fell asleep so I had to pause it so we're going to finish it tonight but hoy voy a ordenar un plato de birria con frijoles y arroz and I saw that they sold tacos de birria and they actually look really good. The pictures look good. So I might even order un taco de birria. But before we go eat, we're actually gonna go to Kaiser today because the girl, she has to get a little checkup. We gotta make sure that the baby is good. And then we're gonna go eat. So we're technically gonna be running errands. I also have to build a dresser. So that's gonna be a lot of fun also. So today's just gonna be kind of like a running errands type of day slash we're gonna eat. Uh, we are at the Kaiser in Moreno Valley and it's really nice you know the other day I went to a checkup a physical actually at the Kaiser in Baldwin Hills and uh, it was packed it was a lot of people and one of the things that I liked about the Kaiser in Moreno Valley is that there is not a lot of people here so we were in and out in under like 15 20 minutes which is one of the best things when it comes to going to the doctors quick doctor visits are good so we're at Kaiser right now getting the blood work done and getting the checkup done and while I wait for my girl to get out of the room I'm gonna let you guys know something interesting about the word birria so birria recently got added to the Webster's dictionary which is so cool that they added a Hispanic word to the dictionary right so birria is officially in the dictionary you guys we made it los latinos we're being added to the american culture which is just so awesome and i'm going to read you guys the definition of the word official definition of the word the official definition of the word birria is a mexican dish of stewed meat seasoned with chili peppers the definition is a little iffy but i mean the fact that it's in the dictionary it's already plus points gas for $6.79 almost $7 can you believe that the Instagram page for the restaurant is Birreria Cholos and they have 35,000 followers and as you guys can see right here they have different locations they have locations in Paris Riverside Ontario Chino and Anaheim so just pick and choose and look them up on Google and you'll be able to go find where they are at I went to the one in Paris today but you can go to whichever one they're all basically the same thing and we're just gonna be taking a look at their videos like look at the tacos the way they're dipping them in consomme and you know what you guys I actually don't do this often when I go to birrerias. I don't order consomme and dip my tacos But maybe I should because I noticed that a lot of people like doing that and they also have burritos here The birria ramen is also very popular like it just started getting famous like people like the ramen con birria I have tried it from a different location very good birria ramen is bomb Maybe I got to do more videos trying birria ramen, but here goes el plato de birria This is what I'm gonna be ordering because whenever I go to any birria spot I always order plato de birria because that way I get to taste the the birria and now that we are from Kaiser it's time to go eat some birria and birria cholos is actually right here next to Barra Azul which is another restaurant that I went to and I did a video on where they sold some really good seafood and sushi right it's also right here it's on the left side of this plaza but the birria place is actually on the right so this place is called birria cholos my girl had been wanting to bring me for a while she had told me about it but it just hadn't happened you know there's just so many different places to eat at that we just hadn't came here before. Ya llegamos a la birria after waiting a long time at the hospital. Time to eat. They have the kawamas right here, that's nice. That's crazy. And I can't believe people order kawamas with their birria. I don't know, I'm more of a Coke person. Like, for me, when I eat birria, I need a Coke. But take a look at the menu. They have tacos, molitas, burritos, quesatacos, tortas, kettle tacos, platos de birria, 
birria ramen they have a little bit of everything so it really depends on what you want to order but today i got a little bit of everything because i wanted to try different things my girl got the tacos y'all got the plato de birria but there's just no going wrong this is the tacos dorados de birria that my girl got they looked pretty good the tortilla looked soft I didn't bite them or I didn't even get to try those because I didn't want to take them from her and I had ordered el plato de birria. I wanted to eat my plate, right? So this right here is going to be el plato de birria and of course you guys know que el plato de birria comes with the birria, rice and one of the things I liked was that the beans had little cheese and look at this. They give you all the condiments on the side. They give you the onions, the cebolla, the cilantro, the limones. Everything is on the side so that you can prepare your birria. And I like the birria, you guys. The birria from here was really good. La preparé con cebollita, cilantrito, and it hit the spot. And of course, I told you guys, I need a Coke. And there's nothing better than a Mexican Coke. One of these Cokes in the glass, it's just, there's no comparison. And el plato de birria was $11. And I think for the, for the price, they give you good portions of the rice, the beans, and the birria. So that's always one of the good things, you know. Right now with inflation being so high, some places have started to kind of skimp out on the food, but not right here. Aquí dando la probadita a la birria. So far, so good. Mm. No frijolitos con queso. El arroz. Y una mordida de la tortilla. Mm, 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 mm. And look at the tortillas. One thing that I like about the tortillas is that they're soft y las bañaron con el consomé de la birria. I believe so. Pero están blanditas. Look at that. It's all oily. It's probably not healthy for you, but very, very delicious. Para comer con la birria. Un taquito. La mordita de la tortilla, so you guys see how good it is. Mm. And after I finished my plato de birria, it was time to finish off con el queso taco. And just take a look at it. One of the things that I liked was how soft the tortilla was, how oily it was. They put a lot of birria and cheese in the taco, which is also a good thing. You know, they give you good portions for your food that's one of the good things about this place and it was really good you guys look at the birria it looks appetizing it looks good so that was one of the good things and it was time for the moment of truth you guys know que tengo que preparar el taquito with cebolla cilantro limoncito so that it can get that nice good touch especially because i'm a person that loves limon i gotta put a bunch of limon on el taco de birria so that it can be good i also put some salsita just to give it that nice kick y supuestamente i'm supposed to be on a diet <laughs> But when I'm with a girl, the diet goes out the window. The following weekend, I went back to the same place and I ordered una torta de birria because I wanted to change things up. Y la torta de birria, they toasted the bread, they made it nice and soft, they put birria in there, they put cheese in there, and it was good, I liked it. But if you guys come, I would recommend you guys get los quesa tacos. You guys saw in the video how good those quesa tacos look. I would recommend you guys get some of those y el plato de birria. Pero la torta, if this is something that you want, it wasn't that bad, ya preparada, it was good. And right here in Moreno Valley, they're still expanding. So, you know, there's a lot of vacant land. So it's, it's you know, it's a place that's up and coming in the future. But now it's time to go eat some desserts. And uh, we went to La Michoacana because we want ice cream. We want to eat something sweet for the sweet tooth. And of course, since my girl's pregnant, you know, the baby wants something sweet. I think I'm going to get one. Michoacana is so nice. And the other day I went to a Michoacana, but it just was not as nice as this one. This one they put the labels for all the different ice cream types. They have a TV screen showing you what they sell. So this was a very nice Michoacana. I'll put the address down below so you guys can come check it out. I did get one scoop of ice cream because I was just I was full, you guys. Yeah, when I see, I didn't even finish it, but the ice cream from La Michoacana is very, very good. I loved it. I almost finished it, but I had ate a lot already. And one thing that they do a lot over here in Paris, Moreno Valley, is they do skydiving. That's actually one of the activities that a lot of people do here. So when you're driving on the street, you could just see like people flying out the plane and jumping and doing the skydiving. Entonces, how was Birreria Cholos? The birria was good. 
but my favorite thing era el queso taco. El queso taco was very good. La tortilla, la birria, y el queso dentro del taco was really delicious. That's what I like the most. On Yelp, Birreria Cholos has four stars with 213 reviews. And I think that the rating for this place is really good. I like the food here. I went here twice, different days, and it was packed both times. It was two separate weekends. So that just goes to show you that this is a good place to come eat birria. You guys already know que si no estuviera buena, people wouldn't be here. When the food is not good, people don't go. So after a long day, of going to run errands, going to the hospital, going to eat. It's finally time to finish Hocus Pocus 2 because I only saw half of it last night. So time to see the other half. And look at this. We have 56 remaining, 56 minutes. This today's project right here. We just finished seeing Hocus Pocus. After I'm done building this, we're gonna watch this one, a ver de qué se trata. But for now, looks like I got a little project right here. This is approximately one hour and a half. Let's see if I can do it in an hour and a half. Here goes the progress so far. It's coming along little by little. All right, so it took me how long? Two hours? Two hours, but it got done. So mission accomplished. Since I was able to build the dresser, my reward was some carnita asada at home. So it's now the next day. Y la toxica se pichó en Starbucks right here. First time ever, she decided to buy me one. If I would have known she was gonna buy me one, I would have ordered the large, but it's okay. Se le pasa. <laughs> right now we're gonna be going to Ross. We're gonna do some shopping for myself and also for the baby. A ver qué le compramos. And every time I come to Ross, it's dangerous because I buy clothes for myself. My girl buys clothes for herself. We buy things for the baby. Like Ross is just, Ross is, it hurts my wallet. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that delicious like button down below. And also make sure to subscribe. I like posting two new videos every single week, showing you guys some awesome places you're gonna wanna check out. This was De La Fox Checks. I approve of Birria Cholos.